Hello friends, DK this side. In this video, you will learn the relationship between macroeconomic variables and the stock. Because macroeconomical variables affect the stock market movement and it is very crucial because these variables not only affect but systematically impact the stock market returns. So in this video, we will discuss various macroeconomic variables to understand the relationship between stock market and these variables. Friends, do not forget to like the video, subscribe the channel, hit the notification bell for updates. Let's begin. Let us first talk about the interest rates. We all know central banks, they decide the interest rate. In case of India, it is Reserve Bank of India being the central bank decides the interest rate, which influence borrowing costs for companies and individuals. And when interest rate rise, borrowing costs become more expensive, affecting the corporate profits and consumer spending. Higher interest rate can lead the investor to shift the, their investment from the stock market to fixed income investments impacting the stock price negatively. Now another important factor is inflation in the economy. Now inflation certainly erodes the purchasing power of the money and when prices rises consumers and businesses may cut their spending. The company's costs increase due to the higher input costs that directly affects the profit margins. In that scenario, the investors will always look towards the investment opportunity that outpays the inflation. In fact, it can beat the inflation. That kind of opportunity is looked in by the investors that influence the stock market demand because the stock market becomes little choppy, volatile, and then the risk enhances because the higher inflation rate. Up till now, we discussed two important macroeconomic indicators. One is the interest rate and second is the inflation. They are so closely interlinked. Whenever the inflation rise, there is always a fear of rising interest rate and that is how the attempt is made by the Reserve Bank of India or Central Bank to contain the inflation. So whenever inflation rises, the Central Bank rises the interest rate to contain the inflation. Now let us look at the unemployment rate. It's a very miserable situation if unemployment rate is very high. That indicates there is a less job opportunity in the economy. That indicates the weakness of the economy. Just imagine if you do not have the job, which means you do not have the regular income. And if the inflation is also very high, how the miserable will life be? So unemployment rate, in my opinion, is very, very miserable for an individual in the economy because he doesn't have the source of income and inflation is causing the rising cost of the commodities, uh, essential commodities. And this is how the miserable index is calculated. The unemployment rate plus the inflation rate indicates the miserable index, how badly the citizens are facing the impact of unemployment and impact of inflation. Now let us talk about the GDP, gross domestic product. GDP growth reflects the economic health. A strong GDP growth often correlates with the rising stock prices in the stock market. A contracting economy may lead to lower 
corporate earnings and stock market will decline. Now, the important factor is corporate earnings. Strong earnings growth generally support the stock prices. Economic conditions directly affect the company's profit margins. Before we proceed further to understand the macroeconomic indicators or variables, let me ask you a very simple question. Do participate to offer your comment. If you have a job and you have a source of regular income and inflation is very high, it will certainly affect you. But another situation, when you don't have a job because of the higher unemployment rate in the country and inflation is also very high, which situation is more miserable for an individual? Please do offer your comment. Now, another economic variable is trade balance and exchange rates. If there is a trade deficit that weakens the country's currency, that affects the stock market returns, at the same time, exchange rate fluctuations impact the multinational companies and their profits. Another important factor is government policies and regulations. Fiscal policies like taxes, government spending influence the economic activity of the country. Regulatory changes can also affect the specific industries and companies. The another factor is global economic conditions. Global economic trends impact the stock markets. Events like recessions or geopolitical tensions affect the investors' confidence. And so they withdraw the money from the stock market, impacting the stock market negatively. Now the monetary policy. Central banks' actions, quantitative easing or tightening, impact the liquidity and interest rate. These policies affect the investor behavior and the stock market performance as a whole. In nutshell, macroeconomic variables have a close interlinkage with the stock market dynamics. So if you participate in the stock market and if you are an investor, then you should track these economic indicators so that you take a better decision, well-informed decision in the stock market. Thank you very much for watching. Looking forward to meet you very, very soon.